Hey everyone, welcome to Post to Post. Thanks for joining me today. My name is Neil, if you're new, and the NHLPA just came out with results to a player poll. Over 500 NHL players polled. We've got the answers to some very interesting questions. We're going to go through them. I've actually not seen the results yet, so this is going to be a bit of a reaction. I believe there are roughly 15 questions. There's a bit of an intro. I'm going to read it. That's the only thing I have looked at. And then we'll jump into the actual answers from the players. Some are serious, some are not. That's basically all I know. But let's get in. I'll read the intro here. And we can get into it. So the NHL PA player poll is back with our 2021-22 edition. More than 500 players were surveyed on 15 hockey-related questions during the regular season. Players weighed in on a variety of topics, including questions on the most complete player, the players they dread facing against but admire, best hockey hair, and more. So let's go through this and dissect and react and either see if we agree or disagree. Let's start it off. What's first? On ice. Okay. If you need to win one game, who is the goalie that you would want on your team? All right. So it looks like Andre Vasilevsky got 37.4% of the votes. And Carey Price actually got 13.9% of the votes, which is rather interesting down below we've got flurry gibson markstrom jonathan quick and uc saros okay so i think the velasky velasky oh my god vasilevsky vote here is pretty accurate i am surprised to see carrie price uh in second place i would have expected that he would have fallen maybe just this season just based on him being out and whatnot uh, but uh, I fully expect Marc-Andre Fleury to be there, although maybe not the best playoff performing goaltender. Gibson, extremely underrated in the NHL. Markstrom has had his ups and downs. Same with Jonathan Quick, and UC Saros is one of the best, uh, one of the most underrated goalies in the NHL right now, so I'm glad that he's on there. Next one. If you need to win one game, who is the one skater you'd want on your team? Okay, Connor McDavid, 42.4% of the votes. That's not surprising at all. Uh, that's that's pretty much a given, I think. But Sidney Crosby at 17.3. That's also an excellent, excellent choice. Victor Hedman at 6.7. Okay, I'm not su super surprised that people voted for Victor Hedman. I'm surprised he's third of all the players in the NHL. I, I wouldn't expect him to be third. He's an amazing player. But, okay, if you need to win one game, who is the one skater you'd want on your team? Yeah, I don't think I would choose Victor Hedman for this as my top three. Glad he's on there, though. I, lo I love Victor Hedman. Uh, Barkov is on there. I think that's probably accurate. And so is Nathan McKinnon. So, overall, you know, fairly good. I would have expected Nathan McKinnon and Barkov to actually be ahead of Victor Hedman, but who knows? Okay, next. Who is the best stick handler? Patrick Kane, definitely. 57.3. That's not a surprise. Connor McDavid, 22.8. Probably not a surprise there. Nathan McKinnon should be on this list. He is. Nice to see Barkov on there. Johnny Goudreau as well. Austin Matthews. I think these are all these are all pretty accurate. I'm happy with this one. Next, who is the best passer? Nicholas Backstrom better be on this list. There he is. Okay. Uh, Drysaddle, 17.7. Great. Uh, Patrick Kane, 15.6. Great passer. I'm surprised he's second, though. Nicholas Backstrom should be first or second. He's third at 15.4%. Connor McDavid at 10.6. Probably okay with that. Uh, Kucherov, 6.2. Kucherov is is a pretty offensively gifted player and a very underrated passer. So I'm actually glad to see him on this list. Okay, next up, which player do you think you which player do you wish you could shoot like? Alexander Fetchkin, 53.1%, of course. Austin Matthews, not a surprise there, 24%. Patrick Elaine, also a pretty good shot, 3.4. Pasternak, uh, Stamkos. Stamkos, very, very good shot, actually. I'm surprised he's uh, not a little bit higher. And Kutrov, again, like I said, offensive player, so not surprised he's on here. Let's move on. Who is the most complete player? Okay, I've read the title. I've not looked at the, the images. Patrice Bergeron, better be on this list. Sidney Crosby, 29.5. Barkov, 20.5. There, okay. Patrice Bertrand, 19.5. Glad he's on here. Connor McDavid, 9.2. Anze Kopitar, very happy that he's on there. Connor McDavid, who is the most complete player? No offense to McDavid, but I probably would not have him on this list. Um, he can be a liability sometimes, but the thing about McDavid is, on the other side of the coin, if he does make a mistake and he makes, uh, you know, there's a, there's a takeaway against him, at least he has the speed to back check and get back, which I've seen him do multiple times. So, yeah, I guess there is definitely some complete aspect of his game, but I wouldn't consider him to be the most complete player. So I'd likely leave him off this list, but I think the others definitely fit. 
Okay. Oh, interesting. Which NHL arena has the best ice? The Bell Center, 39.6, which is not surprising. Uh, there's a long-standing tradition in Montreal going back to basically the inception of the NHL, where the Montreal Canadiens, it's it's almost like it's an art form to take care of the ice there. They take great pride, not that the other teams don't, but it's always such a focal point in Montreal and whatever arena they play in, whether it's the Forum or the Molson Center, which is used to be the, the Bell Center, pre, pre-named, and then, you know, beyond that. So uh, not surprising. I've heard that from from a lot of people, actually, who has not obviously played in the NHL but skated on the ice uh, for other events. Um, 39.6, Bell Center, not surprising. Rogers Place, 13.7, probably not surprising either. It's a new modern facility, probably with some pretty good temperature and cooling, you know, controls and stuff under the ice, so not surprising. Canada Life Center in Winnipeg. Okay, uh, that is... I guess maybe not surprising. It's a smaller arena. It takes less, uh, yeah, there's not as much heat probably in the space since it's so smaller. It's a little easier to cool. The ice would benefit from that. And Winnipeg's also very cold during the win- winter time. So that, that that probably definitely helps as well. So maybe not surprising actually there. T-Mobile Arena, I've been there. The ice was, I was there in June, early, early June, 100 plus degrees Fahrenheit playoffs at the end of a season and the ice was in really good condition so i think that t-mobile arena should be on this list even though they're in an untypical kind of location in uh, the desert essentially uh xl energy a center not surprised that's on there in minnesota great state lots of pride there in their arena and madison square garden uh, i've never been inside so i have no comment there Next, which player do you least enjoy playing against but would like to have on your team? Brad Marchand, 26.4. I think that's accurate, actually. It's, he's a pest. Everyone loves to hate him, but uh, he is one of the best defensive players in the league. Lots of talent there. Connor McDavid, 18.3%. Not surprising to see him there. Tom Wilson, 10.7. I don't know if I necessarily disagree or agree with this because... I, I kind of see Tom Wilson as a, a liability sometimes. He does a lot of great things for the team, but every so often he is that liability. So I'm not sure I'd put him on this list, but then again, I don't play in the NHL, and my opinion means nothing. <laughs> Victor Hedman, definitely on this list. Nathan McKinnon as well. Okay, next up, who is the best current women's hockey player? Oh, interesting question. Marie-Philippe Poulin, 43.2%. Hillary Knight, 207 uh, Amanda Kessel, 6.2. Uh, Scoffield, 5%. And Sarah Nurse, 2.9. Sarah Nurse, very underrated, by the way. All great choices here. Uh, I l- actually really like that this question was in here. Off ice. Ooh, this is going to get interesting. Where is the best NHL road city to spend an off day? Oh, I love this question. Las Vegas, 30.6 and first percent. First, first percent. <laughs> first place. Yeah, I, I've been to Vegas. I love Vegas. Uh, I think the players probably love Vegas for a different reason than I do. I am more so like the surrounding areas of Vegas for the geographical kind of interests, but not necessarily the uh, nightlife and party scene of Vegas. Uh, 30.6, that's a, that's a pretty big lead on New York, actually. 17%. New York City is my favorite city in the world. Not surprised to see that there. There's so much to do. There's so much to see and appreciate. Just a wonderful city. Fort Lauderdale, 10.4%. You got the beach. You got the weather. That totally makes sense. Uh, LA as well, 10%. Probably include that with with a, a beach-related decision there for most players. And Nashville, 87 I hear wonderful things about the city of Nashville. Whether it's entertainment, food, uh, just the, the city layout, uh, the cleanliness of the city as well. I hear great things about Nashville, so I'm not surprised to see that on here. Okay, next up, which NHL player could make it in another sport? Oh, cool question. Uh, Joe Pavelski, golf, okay, 4%. Uh, this is pretty widespread, actually. Anders Lee, football. Oh, the Islanders do. I don't know if it's Lee. It probably is, actually, based on this question. But I think the Islanders have a player. I'll assume it's Lee. They actually played football like very competitively, like extremely, extremely competitively, maybe almost professionally. Maybe it was Lee. I'm pretty sure there's someone on the Islanders, so that's got to be him. Zidane Ochara basketball, that's probably a given. That make, makes total sense. Uh, golf, 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 and then football. Ryan Reese, uh, you know, for football, that makes sense. So a lot of golf in here. Not surprising. A lot of uh, NHL players like to golf and hockey players in general. Number 13, which 
Yeah, okay, so I guess this was a teaser. Which NHL player has the best hockey hair? They mentioned this at the beginning paragraph. Cody Eakin, 8.9%. Absolutely, look at that. That is the most ridiculous haircut ever, and I love it. Uh, William Carson, 79 with a true flow. Eric, Eric Carlson has always had great hair, 4.8%. John Merrill with a mullet, 4%. And Brandon Tanev has some awesome hair, too. That's a cool question to have. Okay, which NHL player has... The, or Oh, what? Which NHL player is the best follow on social media? Okay, gotcha. P.K. Subban at 16.3%, Austin Matthews 11.8%, Brad Marchand, and Jonathan Huberto. I don't think there's any question here. P.K. Subban, whether you love him or hate him on the ice, the guy's a character, and he's not just a name. Like, P.K. Subban is a brand. He's not just, like, that's, he's into fashion, he's into other things, uh, he's he's involved in, in other sports, he does a lot of philanthropy work as well. He is a brand, and absolutely, you should be following uh, P.K. Zuba on social media. In fact, he's one of the only players, professional players I follow on social media. Most of the players that I follow on social media are actually retired, so I don't really follow any uh, current ones, so I don't have a lot to say on the other ones. Okay, next question. Which NHL player is the best role model? Sidney Crosby, 42.7%. I would say absolutely in the last... 12, 13 years, but in the first couple of years, I would totally disagree with him being on this list. He received so much criticism for not, I mean, I don't want to use the word entitled, but a little bit whiny and stuff. Um, he would complain to the refs a lot. He had a kind of a bad reputation. I don't think that first two years of his career was the best, you know, for a role model. But since then, he's turned it around, and I absolutely he should be first on this list. Patrice Bergeron as well. He could absolutely be first on this list too. Connor McDavid, uh, yeah, I guess I could probably agree with that. Um, Marc-Andre Fleury, absolutely 2.1%. I wish he was in third or um, it could be even be second. Like uh, Patrice Bergeron could be first. Marc-Andre Fleury could be second. Sidney Crosby could be third. Like That's a really good top three. Okay, next question. Is this the last question? This is not the last question. This is the last question. Okay, which non-NHL athlete would you like to trade places with for a day? 18.3% chose Tom Brady. I mean, I know he's pretty successful. That just surprises me, though. Uh, Tiger Woods, I would have expected to be number one, considering how many golf fans there are in the NHL. 10.5%. Uh, LeBron James at 7.5%. We got tennis and we got soccer. It's good to see some spread. Uh, it's not all golf golf players or, or football players or whatever. Golf golf players? Golfers. I don't think there's golf players. I think there's just golfers. <laughs> anyway, that kind of wraps it up. I think that that was... Yeah, that was the last one that we that we had here. So yeah, I appreciate you guys coming along for that bit of a journey. Uh, there's no right or wrong, probably. If you disagree with any of my comments, that's totally fine. That's what the comment section is for. If you agree or disagree, please leave your thoughts down below in the comment section. We'd love to hear from you. And uh, I think it's cool that the NHL does this. It adds a little bit of personality to, I guess, collectively the NHL as one big personality. So, you know, shout out to the NHLPA for doing this. And I uh, appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much. If you're new, consider hitting the subscribe button. And if you did enjoy this video, obviously hit the like button. That helps the channel a lot. Have a great day, guys. I'll talk to you soon. Adios. Thank <laughs> you.